Uh, my name is Samantha Claussen. I am a staff attorney in the Government Benefits Unit at the Smurl Central Office. Um, and one of the types of cases that our unit takes uh, takes our Social Security disability cases. My name is Shen Yang and I came to the U.S. in December 18, um, 1990. I came directly to Singapore. So Smurls got involved in Ms. Yang's Social Security case uh, because she contacted our office through the hotline in early 2013. Social Security in particular can be a very confusing process for non-English speakers. There's a lot of bureaucracy. There's uh, predominantly paper notices, uh, which are all uh, delivered in English. The, the administration does have the obligation to provide interpreters, uh, but many clients who don't speak English don't always feel comfortable asking for an interpreter, even if they have enough English to ask for one. Having an attorney uh, can, can really be a game changer for those clients. Uh, someone who is going to help them keep track of and understand the notices that they're receiving. Someone who is going to help explain the importance of the medical records, to review those records and find the holes in them. Uh, places where an attorney could help with development of more records or uh, as in this case we got a letter targeted at a specific legal issue um, that I knew the judge was going to want to address, and so we were able to take some preemptive steps and address that ahead of time. The, the likelihood that most of our non-English speaking clients would be able to successfully get through that process without an advocate is, is pretty low, in my opinion. Uh, we also helped uh, Ms. Yang out with another legal issue, another benefits issue, in fact. Um, in July of 2015, there was a law that went into effect the housing assistance grant that awarded an additional $110 to families uh, who were receiving uh, MFIP cash assistance benefits. Um, when this law was initially passed, uh, it appeared that in situations, a household with a, a single parent with children where the single parent was on SSI, um, the counties were not paying the housing assistance grant to those families. My SSI case with Smurfs had been closed for a year when Samantha had someone from her office contact me about the housing grant. I am very happy that she hasn't forgotten about me. She didn't have to call me back about and let me know about the housing grant, but she took the initiative to have someone call me and ask me if I was getting that benefits from the county. And she helped me apply an appeal and I got the housing grant to help me pay for my rent. Um, if I were speaking directly to potential donors, I think the most important thing that I would want to tell them um, has to do with just the extent of the need uh, for advocates in our community, for legal advocates. Uh, our office is not able to serve nearly the number of people who financially qualify for our services and have legal needs. And we do our best to, to try to focus our efforts in the areas where we can make the most difference. Um, but there, there's a lot of work to be done, and it's important work. Um, in financial benefits in particular, you know, in this case, Ms. Yang has more financial stability than she did prior to these successful outcomes in these two cases. And that financial stability allows her to better care for her children. It allows her to better care for her own mental health. Um, and that stability has a ripple effect both in her family and in the community. I will say that Smurls is a great uh, organization. They have been working for free, helping low-income people, poor people like us who have nothing else but just their life left. Um, we are hopeless and they are giving so much of their time for us to help us. I will tell all those people who will be watching the video that they should give money to help Smurfs so they can help people like us to regain hope and um, to see a light. Thank you for coming tonight and supporting the Ramsey County Bar Foundation and all of the organizations it serves. Thank you for giving generously to the foundation so that it can continue its important work.